Hi everyone, thank you for joining us on this week's episode of Sportsman's Journal. Tyler and I are up in Vilas County, the Northwoods of Wisconsin, yep. staying at Red Pebble Lodge, which is right behind us. Yep, we're excited to be here. We're gonna go fish for some walleyes on one of the many lakes that surround Red Pebble. It's the musky opener up here for Memorial Day it in is. Wisconsin, but we're gonna focus on the old marble eyes. And it's really windy right now, mm -hmm. so we have a feeling they're gonna be shallow, but we're gonna go take a look. We're excited to get out there. Should we go hit it up? We are, I'm excited. Let's go get out on the water. All right, thanks for watching the Sportsman Journal. Stay tuned, we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Coleman Insect Repellents. Better fish? Yeah, well, I don't know if he's better, but... Good one. Nice hook set, too. Was that on that slow drag yeah, there? Yeah, and I let him, I had to let him take it for just a hair because I didn't want to rip the minnow out of his I mouth. I hear you. <clears throat> it's a good walleye. It's a really nice one. Are you going to net him for him? Yeah, I'll net him for you. What the heck? Oh, yeah. There you go. There we go. Good Look eater. That. That's a nice way to yeah. start out the fishing evening. Whoop. Got him? Yep. Nice dark walleye. We're really um, very subtle. Yep. The water temp is 53 degrees barely. Um, and it was probably in the high 40s this morning. Um, so these fish are subtle, very spooky. You gotta use subtle tactics. He is cold. Yeah, they are cold. They're pretty though. Yeah, they are. You can see that white fin from a mile away coming up. That's nice. Yeah, it's nice. All right, we got a little something going. So we are using a little bit more subtle technique. Jig and minnow. Jig and minnow. But. Doesn't get uh, any more subtle than that, right? We're casting. We're casting. We're pretty far away from the structure. We're casting up onto the structure and we're letting it uh, sink to the bottom. And then uh, I actually had to take a little bit of a lesson from Tyler. I'll give him credit on that. And uh, it's very slow right now. It's just a drag across the bottom, almost similar to the Lindy Rig technique. Um, we're just very subtly moving it. And the walleyes are just, they're coming up and picking it up and there's a weight. Yep. There's no, if you jig it, if you give it any action, they don't want it. They don't want any pop. They don't. So it's just a very slow retrieval, uh, painfully slow. We'll see, there he is. Nice hook set, Sarah. Nice. That's a good fish there. It's a better one, yeah. Better one? What do you think of that wind? Slow down my retrieval a little bit. Yep. Let him take it. Oh yeah, look at him down there. Oh, that's a dandy. That's a nice one, yeah. He, he's hungry. Yeah, that's a good fish right there. Oh, I got him. Yes. Look at how pretty he Beautiful is. North wow. Woods, Wisconsin. Gold and Yeah, golden. he's gold, he's pretty. Thank you. Show that fish off. Nice. Nice skinny. Hanging off the back fish. side that's, of the gravel. That's a hungry post spawner. Yeah. That's a long that is, fish. That is a pretty golden nice color. Work. Holy cow. I'm not gonna that's, lie to you, I'm a little jealous. It's a nice fish. Oh, I just love wally fishing. That is so much fun. Good work. Sarah, you're not gonna believe this. Finally got one? I got one. Oh, Ooh, look yeah. how pretty he is. Hello, Wisconsin walleye. Yeah, look at that. Got him right off this little hump we found. As soon as the wind died down. Yep. That is a swinger there, but that is a perfect eater. Oh, barely had him hooked. It's a good start. Took a little bit of work to find him, didn't we? A little bit. We kind of found uh, a little hump here and we've been working the deep edge and we thought we'd come a little, a little more on top of it. We're in 13 foot. And we got the wind in our favor. Get him back in there. Well, might oh. be in our favor, but we don't like it. Uh-oh, there he is. Way out there, hon. 
Ooh, that one's feeling a little better. I don't know about my hook set there. I had a lot of line out. Let's see what you can see out here. Do you want the net? Um, probably, no. I'll hand grab them. You keep fishing, you get a double. You guys can see that that wind is pounding. And that's what's getting these fish aggressive out here. Whoa. And these lakes up in northern Wisconsin, highly pressured. Highly pressured, another cookie cutter, 17 incher there. Hold on there, buddy. And a good thing to do before you come out and fish these is just find the rock humps on a map. There are maps at every gas station and tackle shop up here, but do your homework before you come out. Find those humps. Any type of uh, incline in the main lake basin, that's what we're fishing here. There's, there's two humps we've been fishing. And basically, if you have wind on these clear lakes, that's when they're going to come up shallow. They do that at nighttime and with really windy days. And you can come out here and take advantage. The other thing about the wind is when you got really windy days, you don't have a lot of pleasure boaters out here either. So that's kind of nice. So you kind of have the whole lake to yourself, but you come out here, find those humps, come out, use your electronics, kind of travel around the spot first, kind of figure out how it's set up. And then what I like to do to set the boat up is I will come and I'll find that edge where the hump kind of goes on the top of the hump and it starts to drop off. I'll set my boat right on that break from where it starts to decline and then it flattens back out on the on the deep end. But it's just, it's perfect with the wind coming right into it. So those fish are active on top of it looking to eat. Boat positioning is a huge deal, especially in clear water. And clear especially- pressured water. What's that? High clear. pressured water, yep. See if we can do that again. That was two bang bang on this hump on. That went, oh my goodness, nice, Sarah. Look at that. Good fish. I was just about ready to say, every time that wind blows, yeah, we get a huge We get gust. hooks in one. And that's the thing. I mean, guys are out here fishing, and it's, I mean, we got 30 mile an hour winds today. But this is why these fish are here. That's a better one. Because of the wind. So use the wind to your advantage. Use it for your boat positioning. Use it for lure presentation. Use it to go out and catch your bag limit. Use it to go catch your limit of walleyes <laughs> in northern Wisconsin. <laughs> you bet. Nice job, Sarah. I'm going to do a little weird thing there. But that's you got a little right. purple and blue jig going on there. Fireball yeah, jig. I think yours is more productive today, but... You think so? That's right. I thought it was just because I might just be... Uh, step above. Oh, wow. <laughs> just kidding. No. You're doing good there. You got him? Yeah. He's gonna want to flop on you. Yeah, he is. But it's a good-looking fish. Nice. This is what you're after. So one of the things I want to show you real quick here on our Humminbird Helix 12, I got it on side imaging. And what we're doing, if you look at this, this is the left side of the boat. So that's that side, and then behind me is the right side. Nothing on the right side. All the structures to our left. So I have the boat positioned right. That's where this hump comes off, and it breaks right there. So I'm keeping the boat above it and all the structures directly behind us and to our left. And that's where we're catching all these fish. You can see these little rock boulders that's coming off the very tip of the hump and then there's nothing. And on the deep side of it, which is the right side, it's barren of any structure. So all these fish that we're catching are relating to these rocks and they're just roaming, roaming the top of that hump and that's where we're catching all these fish. So use your electronics, use your down imaging, your side imaging and all that kind of stuff. That's gonna help you catch a lot more fish. And if you go back, and look at your regular sonar, if you're using that, you don't really know where the structure is on your boat. So if you have the capability to use side imaging or down imaging, I would use it. And especially when you're trying to locate where the fish are on these humps, it's gonna help you out big time. Whoa, there he is. You got another one. Yeah, way out there again, that's fun. They're like on top of the structure. Yeah. You can kind of see here, you see this behind me? I should say in front of me now, I'm fighting a fish, but you can see the trees growing out of the water. That's typically not what happens up here in Northern Wisconsin. We got high water this year, lots of snow. Look at that fish out there. Clear water walleye, that's awesome. Don't worry, hon, I'll net this one myself or hand grab them, I mean. Sorry, I'm trying to catch one over here. I know. So we got high water. Oh, this guy might be getting off. Swing him up here, there we go. So this hump is actually about two or three foot more in the water than normal. 
but where the gravel ends is the same. Obviously. Are you just catching the same fish over and over? Again? Aren't they about perfect cookie yeah, cutters? They are. 16, 17 inches. Nice fish. Get him back in there. That's a big fish right there. Uh, I think no? it's about the same size. No, I just get excited. Yeah, I think you too. Oh, well, when you're fishing with light rods, a big bend yep. in your rod. True. But I think he's, uh, he's a little what you bit bigger, but. Oh, that ain't a bad one. That ain't a bad dealio. Hmm. Come here, little bud. Ooh. Yeah, right when the wind picks back yep, up. Yeah, right isn't when the wind it? picks up. Good I'm telling you. Yeah. Keep blowing wind. Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> Oh, well, you got dubs? No, I had my jig. Just got to move my rod. It's a good fish. That. Get that net out of the way. Nice job, Sarah. Phyllis County, Memorial Day weekend. Yep, beautiful. Walleyes. Gotta love it. That's a nice fish. He's beat up, though. Look at that. Is he? They are beat up from the spawn. Yeah. That just tells you that the spawn did not happen that long ago. No, not a long, not long ago in the spawn, mm -hmm. and tells you there's a lot of walleyes in here. Yeah, I would say. Every so. single one of them is beat up. Nice work. Oh, got him. Way out there again, Sarah. I hope these hook sets are holding. There's a lot of line between me and that fish. I just got way out there too. What's that? I just cast way out there. Did you? Too. Well, get ready. I'll tell you what's making the difference. The rod. Super sensitive KCRs. This is the 7.3 light action, perfect for this technique. Plenty long enough for the hook sets away from the boat. Uh, and it's Memorial Day weekend and we're at beautiful Red Pebble Lodge. Are you getting an end for me? Well, yeah, you <laughs> whined so much last time. Nice. And there's so much to do up here at Red Pebble. That, there's just there's a lot more than fishing. It's so much fun. If the water temp was more favorable. Yeah, you could go swimming or you could go You could utilize, or, yeah, a lot of the water stuff, but. I'm not brave enough to Kayak, go there in this. Kayak, board. Yeah. Not a huge fish, but... That's right up your alley. That is right up my alley. Yeah. I'm more of a numbers guy anyway. You can practice with him. What do they say? Quantity over quality? That is a skinny walleye. But they are pretty. Good eats right there though, right? Put him back. There's lots of guys out here fishing right now but I can almost guarantee you that there's nobody slow dragging like we are right now. You got boats moving all over the place. They're hole hopping. They're, they're, they're hole hopping. They're fishing the spot for five, six minutes Man. and then moving on. On these humps, you got to dissect them because those fish aren't really scattered. They want to be in the best spot where that wind's funneling food. And you got to do a little bit of fan casting to find it. And these fish right now that we're fishing are directly right behind the boat. They're not off to the sides. They're not in front of us right behind the boat gosh that's so far out Sarah that was a long one yes it was you had a lot of slack out and this is decent and well, I am, I hope we didn't miss, we either cross lines oh, or do we, we have, have dubs. do we we got dubs going either that or we have the same fish well we might because it feels like I don't know what's going on here well we'll find out all chaos is breaking loose here are we having fun yet or no <laughs> We're always having fun. I'm just gonna throw it out now. I think mine's bigger. Wow. Well, mine is coming to the boat a little bit easier. Mine's staying out there. You might have to hurry up and get yours in to get the net for me. Oh, that's have a nice net walleye. For you? Yeah. Oh, I got a huge smallie. Oh, a tank of a smallie. Well, at least we found out we don't have the same. Oh my fish. goodness! Huge, on, huge bass, good. guys. So I'm guessing that's you want not a bad net. walleye, though. No, it's a beautiful little walleye. Get him in. I got a little time here. This might. This fish right here. That that's long. So that's what it's 18 inch walleye, huh? I'm sorry, I'm so excited to hear about this bass. And he got my. I'm not gonna know. lie to you guys, this fish right here might be going on six, seven pounds. Oh my goodness, really? Yeah, this is a huge small. I need your net, hon. Okay, I'm gonna get the net. I'm gonna put him yeah, here. Yeah, get that walleye out of here. You, well, I'm gonna put it in here so we can take a picture of it. Oh, okay. This is a huge fish, and this will be a bummer if we don't get to see him. I'm, I'm ready. There. Look at the size of that bass, folks. 
Holy cow. Do you have it? Wow. What's going on? Your net's messed up. No, it's not. It's, does he have two jig heads in him? Okay, well, this is uns look at the size of that, that is a bass, huge guys. Bass. Oh my goodness. Let's take a look. Let's go. I see two jig heads floating around. What's yeah, going on, buddy? That's what. There's one, and that's mine. Did it already? Did it drop Whoa. out? Right here. Look at this fish, folks. It's oh bleeding. my. She's about ready to lose her eggs. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That is a. That is a huge, huge bass. That is a huge. Look fish. at that thing. Holy cow. Pre-spawn. We're talking cold temps, 53. That fish is still wanting to come up and do her thing. That is a huge. That is awesome. Huge bass. That's a 17 inch walleye, but that bass is big. We're going to put it on the <laughs> that judge right now. That is a huge bass. Yeah, and then I want to get her back in there. I don't want to hurt her. I don't want to keep it's her out of the water. Unbelievable. Right, 21 just and over a quarter. Shy, yeah. Just shy. What a fish, folks. I'm happy with that. That is a big bronze back. You gotta love Northern Wisconsin. That, yeah. What a blast. The smallies up here are unbelievable. Look at that. Second to none. Let's get her back in there. Fish like this, everybody, you gotta be, you gotta treat them good. That fish is pretty old up here, too. And she's gonna go lay lots of eggs. How cool was that? Wow. Nice work. Thank you. That's a fish. Yeah. It was not a good hook set. Not a good hook set? No, I had a lot of line out. Should I net it for you or should I be like you when you're... I ask you every time. I do. Okay, I believe you. Well, I'm going to net Maybe it for Maybe not you. every time. Oh, yeah. Look at that white tail. He pulled is. him away from me. You Sorry. don't need the net for him, do you? No, I don't need the net Bring him in. He's not, he's not a ginormous. That was good practice for me, though, getting a swing in. <sighs> you do need a lot of net practice. Look at that. Oh, and my wall, or my, <laughs> if I didn't get him in, I would have known exactly what it was because he took the rest of mine, yep. you know, except for the head. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. That's a good release. <laughs> Trying to hold them out of the belly, unsuccessful. Sometimes that happens. We love coming up to Vilas County. There is so much to do. Um, unfortunately, the weather has, it's actually a nice day. It's really windy though. Um, so maybe your plans are gonna change a little bit. And you know what, up here, that's okay. Cause you can go Tons enjoy- Tons of stuff to do. The golf course. I always like fishing. Yeah, it's not if Tyler's in your group, but uh, the golf course, there's shopping. I actually suggested shopping earlier today and was shot down. But, oh, yeah. Um, there's shopping, there's cute little stores, tourist shops, golf courses. There's so many hiking trails. There's so much to do to get outside and enjoy the weather. Enjoy it because summer is finally here for everyone who has been cooped up from the winter, everyone who's in the Midwest. So it's super exciting to be up here in Vilas County. I'm waiting for my the fish to bite my hook now you're waiting for your next walleye yeah i'm like thinking it's gonna happen any time now well the thing about red pebble where we're staying it's right in the heart of all that stuff right i mean red pebble is located eight miles west of lando lakes wisconsin just on the border of the up and red pebble offers a bunch of amenities in itself keep talking hunt there's that fish i was waiting yeah for. hey and red pebble offers a bunch of amenities in itself sleeps 20 Great for extended families. Oh. You can enjoy the weather outside on the deck. You can I'm enjoy having fun in northern Wisconsin. The game room downstairs. I don't know. This is another decent fish. I don't know if I can handle another big smallie. Oh, oh he's coming oh, over here. What, does your arm hurt? Yeah, forearm. Wow. Nope, it's a walleye. It's a decent one. Wow. That's what Let's we're talking see him, about. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Yes. Slide him but in there. One nice. of the main reasons we come up to Vilas County, the fishing. You betcha. When we, I mean, we got a half a day and because of the wind, we held off to get out here, hoping it would die down, it really didn't. But we had a plan to go find these shallow humps and try to get on these fish. And it's been an incredible yeah. afternoon. Yeah, and for a half a day. Yeah, we've been. It's been a blast. This is awesome. We've been blessed. Everybody, thanks for watching this week. We had a great time catching walleyes on the gravel humps. 
if it's cloudy or windy, that's where you got to target walleye, especially in these clear lakes. We had a blast up here. We absolutely did. And today, actually, uh, we got off the late water late last night. Today's a little bit rough because we want to be out on the water, yep. but we have family up here. We're going to enjoy some of the amenities that Red Pebble has to offer. Tyler's going to cook some chicken on the grill. You bet. I'm going to prepare some food inside, so I'm going to invite you inside to watch for a little bit. Yep. Everybody, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching this week's episode. We'll see you next week on Sportsman's Journal. For more information on how to book your next family vacation to the Northwoods of Wisconsin, check out redpebblelol.com. get enough of the sportsman's journal follow us on instagram youtube and facebook also check out our website sportsmansjournaltv.com